All right, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, we're gonna be learning how to make simulator mountains. Let me show you a few examples. I found these ones on Twitter. For example, all the mountains surrounding the edges and pretty much the layout of the map. We're gonna be learning different types of that. Uh, another example can be here. You see these kind of mountains. Them ones look different to the previous ones, which are up here. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and let's get on with it. Alright, so let's start off by doing Ctrl A, then go to Mesh, and then Cylinder. Now, down here at the bottom left, you should see Vertices. Make the Vertices, let's do 7. And then go into Edit Mode by clicking Tab, then S, then Z to scale downwards. Around about there. And let's just move this up. And this will be our base, all right? So first thing first, add some loop cuts. Do two loop cuts. So Control R, then scroll up twice. And now go into face selection off here at the top left. Hold Alt and then right click on one of the edges here. And it should select, uh, it should select all the faces going around. In fact, we're gonna drag this loop cut down. Once again, hold Alt, then left click the edge instead of the face in edge selection move it down, then reselect them faces. Now let's just do OE to extrude faces along normal. Around about that. We're gonna move this face down a tiny bit more. We're gonna move the whole object up like that. And now select this edge, just bring this down by holding Alt again, clicking the edge, bringing it down. Then scale that upwards. I'll probably say it around that. It said we're gonna okay select these edges down here and then bring these down a tiny bit. Or bring these up actually. And then just go around selecting individual edges and just moving them up or down. Once you have like a nice shape you like. Go ahead, select all these edges around here, move this upwards. I'd say around that probably. And now select all these faces, so the bottom faces here, them faces, them faces, and the top one. Right click and then you separate, then it's selection. Come up, edit mode, select this, and then go back into edit mode, select this top face, and just drag this up and scale it down if you want. I'm gonna scale these edges down like that. That looks good. Now, we're gonna make the bottom part a tiny bit longer. So to do that, we're just gonna drag this face down. We're gonna add another loop cut. We're gonna mess around with it, try and make it a bit nice. Select the top faces, then Alt, then E. Extrude along normals, like that. And then uh, select like the top of your mountain, go into edit mode, A to select all, scale it upwards, bring it down a tiny bit, there you go. Now let's add some shape to these, these edges, so just move them down. Go ahead, select the edges, we can move them up a bit, that looks good. Now let's separate this from our model, so Alt, select them faces, Alt, Alt, select them to and the same for these top ones. If you need to, go in X-ray mode, which is up here at the top right, and you can just select them faces too. Once again, right click, separate, selection. Just like that. We're gonna move this edge up, or these edges up. We're gonna move this face upwards. Let's just level this bit out, X-ray gonna scale with these edges up a bit more so it's not going inwards there we go like that let's just move these up a bit more I right, select your top top part of the mountain edit mode we're gonna scale with these edges down move them up scale them down a bit more and that's looking pretty good so far we're gonna add a loop cut around here by doing control R scaling it up just like that now we're gonna shade smooth all of this Once you've shade smoothed it all, go into the object data over here. 
go into normals and then go to auto smooth and do that for all of them. Just like that. We're actually going to scale this upwards a bit more, select them edges. We're going to do E, click straight away, then S to scale it inwards. Just like that. Scale this down until you get something you like, pretty much. There we go. So this can be the first type of our mountain. And we're going to do another type, okay? This type will be a tiny bit more basic and pretty simple to be fair. Just do control A, mesh, cylinder, vertices can be six. Tab to go in edit mode, S, Z, scale downwards. Now we're gonna start getting creative with our mountains, right? So just move these to the side. Well, in fact, duplicate your, your simple mountain. Shift D to duplicate. Go in edit mode and just move it back over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select some of these edges down here. And we're just gonna go into, do number pad seven to go in this kind of view. Move these inwards. All right, so yeah, just move this inwards. Then the same for this one. And that's how you add some basic shape to your mountain pretty much. Okay, so I just imported them all into Roblox Studio and this is how it looks. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just lay them out correctly. So we're gonna make all the tall ones at the back. Uh, let's do start at point two. All the tall mountains at the back. There we go. Then the middle ones here. We just lay them out like this for now. It doesn't really matter. Okay, secondly, we're gonna select all the mesh parts and just make the material fossil and then shade smooth. Just like that. Now we're gonna name them, so click all of the top parts, okay? All of the top parts, just like that. And we're gonna name these um, top. Now select all of the bottom parts, just like this. Cause you wanna keep organized when you're creating like um, assets or a map, you know? So we can name this bottom. Then for the ones that have like a middle part, just name them middle pretty much. Name them, name, middle. Go ahead, group them all, then just ungroup. So now they're all, um, all laid out quite nicely. Now select all of your bottom parts again and just make it a nice brown, I would say. I'm gonna do something like, maybe a bit darker, like that. I'll select all of your top parts and make them green. Like that. And if you do have any middle parts, just make them a darker brown. Something like that. For this, we're actually gonna switch it. So for these ones make the middle a lighter brown and then the uh, bottom a darker brown basically. There we go. We're gonna make the grass or the top a bit more lighter. Not a 
big fan of that green. I'd say like that. Then just go ahead and scale all of these up. Just like that. Now add them into separate groups. So for your for your mountain one, we're just gonna do this, move it over here. Same for mountain two. There we go. Same for the, for the last few. All right, and that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. At the end of the video, my mic did cut out, so I'm just doing a voiceover now. I'm going away for a week as well, so I won't be back until Tuesday. But when I am back, I'll release some more videos and have some more tutorials coming out. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.